Hey guys, I'm Jose and I'm do and today I reviewed the DC like a like DC comic superheroes Batman's Bat Pod. And yeah, this is the box. It is quite big. And you know, this is based on the SDCC ex exclusive set. And yeah, it is actually like the box of it is actually quite exclusive. So yeah, it is recommended for ages 16 and up comes with 338 pieces and this is set 7115 so yeah as you can see you got pretty good box art but with DQ and the top it's just like official Lego really and the bottom shows you like the dimensions of the bat pot and the sides so yeah they are all the same but yeah, the top here yeah, also has a little handle, which is pretty great. And at, at the back, it is just exact the same. Not the exact same, but yeah, just a normal view, no features or anything. So I'm going to show you opening the box here. So yeah, you just open it like this, and inside is just like this. But yeah, of course the package of it isn't like just you use hands. You know they don't just like use hands to pack all the pack off the the bags. You know the the bags that have the have the Legos in it. But yeah, this is that's it for a box. So for the instructions here, it is pretty normal. It's just a just a straight copy of official Lego, and on the back does have the collections, and yeah, it shows you quite a lot of them actually. But yeah, not all of them because yeah, there is like way more in this. You know, I have it. I have like not. I have. I mean, you know, the the Batman vs. Superman Krypton Interception set, yeah, that one, that instruction has, like, quite a lot of, like, future sets that they will be coming out, but, yeah. So, for extra pieces, it does come with quite a lot, so, you know, you got a little Technic piece, you know, actually, most of this is actually Technic piece, you know. It does have also have like a, a little stud that is on this color, but yeah, I usually use it on the piece which you know I'm gonna talk about to you. I'm talk to you, I'm gonna talk about it to you later. But yeah, it does also have this piece. I don't about I don't know much about technique, so you know I don't know about your pieces. But yeah, you got like a little connector piece and not connector. I don't know what it's called, but. Yeah, that's it for the extra pieces. So for a bad pot here, um, as you can see, the quality, the quality control of it is a little bit. All right. So for a build here, um, as you can see, here is a little bit loose. So as you, um, you know, you can't really say about anything because yeah, Shingo did made it. And yeah, DQ is the first brand to make it, so you know, you can't really say about that. But yeah, um, you know, you could buy, you could just buy your own pieces and just build it yourself. But yeah, a lot of people say that you know the wheels, it's hard to find. I, I don't know, I didn't check. But yeah, so you know, this leg thing is very loose, so as the whatever thing. So as this, yeah. But here, um, you know, this here is also very loose, and yeah, even the handle thing, yeah, the handle here you can move it around, you know, just extend it or whatever. But 
yeah even the lever is loose and yeah here we go the light thing and back here I don't I don't even know what that is but yeah on the cockpit here I don't know what the what this thing is and I, I don't know much about it but yeah anyway I just think it looks cool so you know I just decided to get it but yeah here we got move thing a moving thing I don't know why but yeah you know it's probably to make the it's probably to make the like the slope kind of look so you know but yes yeah, sure about that man like yeah really and the wheels here it doesn't really it doesn't really go right well it's stuck a little bit on the front here but yeah it is even worse when I first finished building it yeah but you know it it's just like it just sucks a lot like literally a lot but yeah I modified it so you know it now rolls better and maybe maybe a little bit bad but better than better than just now not just now when I first finished it but yeah and the back here looks like this and here you got the connecting piece yeah I know this thing is so not stable and this thing is not very I guess it's very I don't know it doesn't look very great but yeah here you got a little stick here holding up this thing you know you can take this off but yeah it's it's meant to connect on this thing and yeah the right side the right side light pad thing is way more tight so yeah so as the handle and yeah here uh, over here you got the little like um what is it called? like the just really those like those tubes yeah those kind of tubes and yeah also just like I mentioned yeah there is one missing piece which is a little wheel piece which connects on the back over here you can see that piece there yeah actually that is that is not supposed to be a stud that is supposed to be a wheel piece but yeah for some reason it is missing but it's okay you know it's inside you can't really see it unless you look really close really closely but yeah on the front here you got the guns and also the armor plates protecting it and yeah the the whole structure of this thing is maybe great I don't know but this thing is of course not stable yeah um you know the wheels you know inside is actually quite quite damaged you know yeah this is what happens when you get blue lights but yeah let's cry out if you can fit a, a buildable figure Alright, so I got my first order of Stormtrooper here, so let's cry it out. Um, yeah, I guess it's a little bit too big. Yeah, it's too, it's just too, it's just too big. Yeah, you can't fit, you can't fit, yeah. It's alright, there's, there's nothing. You can't really fit, in. Like, yeah, you can't fit a buildable figure. I guess this is not for play, actually. Yeah, because it is thick for 16 and up, so, yeah, it is, yeah, just not, just not suitable for, like, the play. If you want to play, then, yeah, this is not really a great thing, you know, but, yeah, this is, like, the only LEGO bad part that LEGO makes, you know, but, yeah, overall, it looks pretty cool. So overall, I think this is a quite an okay one because, yeah, I say okay, it's because, yeah, you know, it is quite great that they they made the first SDCC sets, you know, they are the first ones to make, so, you know, that's great, and also they, you know, just, they did pretty great, but yeah, the bad thing is that missing piece quality control and also yeah like i don't know it's just the quality of it is quite bad but you know this this one 
what are you going to expect when you get a bootleg set. But yeah, overall I think this is pretty cool because yeah, SDCC set. So you know, it doesn't cost very much. So that's also a great one, great thing. But yeah, overall pretty great set. So yeah, if you want to buy this set, I'll buy link in the description box below, along our Facebook page, and also my second channel. So uh, yeah, maybe check out those up. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching. I'll be seeing you very soon.